Creating, getting, and setting HTML is something you do all the time when you're using jQuery, and it's also really easy to do. So what we have here is a div with an ID of container, and we have a paragraph inside of it, we have a span inside, and an image tag, and we also have another div called stuff holder, and we're going to use this to place some HTML inside of it. So let's go down to our jQuery here, and the first thing I'm doing is I'm grabbing the span tag here, and then we're using dot text on it. And what that's going to do is it's just going to return to us the text that's inside the span tag. So it's going to give us this just a little span right there. And then I just want to alert out its value and refresh here and you'll see it says just a little span. So that's one that you'll definitely use all the time to um, extract the text value from a span or a paragraph or um, something else. And in the next example here, we are selecting the container and then we're getting all of its HTML. So in plain JavaScript, this would be called inner HTML, but in jQuery, we just use .html to get all of that. And let's just alert all of the HTML from the container. And you'll see here um, all of that HTML inside that alert right there. So commenting this out and moving along here, um, we're grabbing the uh, div with stuff holder that's currently empty right here. And then we're going to set the text value. So um, you know, before with our text thing here, um, we didn't pass anything. So when we pass nothing to text, what that's going to do is it's going to get you the text value. So that's a getter right there. But in this case, um, we are going to set the text value. So we're using dot text and we're passing it something now. And what we're passing it is the value from the span. So um, just take a look at that, selecting the stuff holder div and then we're setting the text to um, the text value from the span. So um, let's just uh, refresh on the right side here, and you'll see that um, that uh, text has been placed into this div, and the reason it's yellow there is because we set the CSS style here and gave it a background color of yellow. So let's just uncomment this one now and moving along. Um, what we're doing now is we're gonna clear out the value. So if we want to keep this stuff holder div, but we want to just remove the text from it, well, we can just use dot text and pass it an empty string. So if I refresh on the right side here, um, you'll see that um, actually that div is still there, but um, we remove the text from it, so it's uh, it has no height, so we can't see it anymore. In our next example here, um, we're selecting the stuff holder div again, and this time we are going to set the HTML to something. So we have .html here, and what we're going to set that to is the HTML from the container, uh, which we alerted out before. So let's just refresh on the right side, and you'll see that what we did was um, we took all of this inner HTML right here from this P um, down to this div tag here, and then we um, placed that inside uh, the stuff holder one. So um, kind of pointless example there, but um, I think you can see how it works. So going on to the last example, um, here we're creating our own HTML, and you'll definitely be doing this um, all the time. We're using .html, and here we're passing in um, an HTML element. So refreshing on the right side, and you'll see we have our own HTML element there. And if I open this up here, you'll see the p tags, and we've just inserted a regular um, HTML element into the DOM there. 